No, hear me out. As a 10 year old, I loved animals and heavily wanted to keep them as pets. So one day I got an idea. The idea is very simple. To beg my parents. I said to my parents that I need a pet but instead of buying a dog or a cat, I just need a new fish tank so that I can have many pets at the same time. After begging and doing a lot of research, that day finally arrived. I got my first aquarium set to complete it. I carefully filled it up and turned the filters and lights on. I spent a lot of time with my new fish and had an extreme trust in the filters, which would keep my fish tank clean. Weeks passed and I was telling everyone about my first fit. But one day, as usual, when I was feeding my fish in the morning, I saw it floating. I got panicked and called my parents. They easily said that the fish is dead. I can't just digest it like them. I knew that I am not a reason for its death. Because I fed it properly and spent my time with it. But I also felt like I was the reason. At the same time, I just want to know what is the reason but I felt extremely guilty and sad when I think or talk about my fish. I asked my friends and relatives and everyone I know but they simply made fun of me or said, I don't know. Past, but I was still sad and one day my brain started to forget that incident. In a blink of an eye, it was 2023. But one day, it was a casual day in school when one of my friends asked me, what about having pet fishes? My mind recollected everything, but I had some bit of hope that I was not the reason. I want to know the answer. At this point, I just don't want to beg anyone for an answer because I have technology at my fingertips. After speaking with some great knowledgeable people, I finally found the answer. It was me and my filters who killed my fish. After doing some more research and spoke with few experts, they said me this. See, there are three types of filters. A biofilter a mechanical filter, and a chemical filter. Let's talk about the most common filter which many use, a mechanical filter. These filters do a simple job sucking all the debris and fish poop from your tank. They collect it and let the water in. Biological filters are known as bacteria. You see bacteria will grow in your tank's substrate glasses in simple words in your whole tank. These tiny microorganisms will just eat the nitrates and ammonia which is toxic for your fishes. A chemical filter helps remove all the unwanted chemicals from your tank like fish diseases. At this point, I was like, filters do a great job, but why am I blaming it? The answer shocked me. See, these three filters can be a perfect combination if they are perfect, but in my case, it was not. The mistake was not on the filters or on me. It was on my trust. I had an extreme trust on that filters that they would do their jobs and I don't even need a water change. At this point, I felt like I was wrong. Yes, I was the uneducated and I killed my officials. But this time, instead of feeling guilty, I made a promise. I would never let a fish die because of me. Instead of knowing what would have saved the fish, know what killed the fish. And never forget, even having a correct decision is wrong when it's too late. Mm-hmm.